Following the war, Sumner received his law degree from Harvard and then entered public service in Washington. I truly believed that uh, one had an opportunity to make the world better. I know it sounds pretentious, but that's what brought a lot of us to Washington. I had clerked in the Court of Appeals. I had been a partner in a Washington law firm. He decided finally maybe he wasn't going to change the world in Washington. He decided to come home and change the world in the entertainment field. When Sumner joined National Amusements, they had two drive-in theaters. We started very early in the game, along with a few others, getting away from one and two theaters and building these large complexes. National Amusements actually owns the name Multiplex. Sumner has transformed it into one of the great exhibition entities uh, in the world today. He's done it with uh, imagination and long-range thinking. In a short time, Sumner was running National Amusements. But other challenges caught his eye. In Viacom, the world saw a collection of broadcasting and cable assets. Sumner saw a media company raring to grow. They said he overpaid. MTV was a fad, and Nickelodeon would never work. We now operate the most powerful group of cable networks in the world. So one must be careful not to be distracted.